Hey girls, Kaylee here. So our makeup tutorial this week was inspired by Alice and Olivia's Spring 2012 Ready to Wear show. I'll link it in the down bar so you can check it out if you want to. Basically they were very, very retro inspired for the entire show. And what they did for the eyeshadow and the makeup in general was to go really retro with it and using kind of a winged eyeliner and some older colors like this bright blue. But they did it in kind of a new way where they did it with glowy skin and not a whole lot of contouring or all, any of that kind of thing. It was very, very glowy and very, very pretty. So you have the brightness, which is great for spring. I'm always looking for ways to wear colors in ways that's not obnoxious, and I think this is a good way to do it. And I just really, really love it. I love that it's very retro-inspired, but it's still very now. So I hope you guys like it, and I will see you in my next video. Mwah! Bye! For this tutorial, I'm going to use a lot of the colors from Sigma's Flare Palette, just because they fit this look really well. I'm using Publicize, which is a matte skin tone, and the brush that came with that palette. And I'm going to take that over my whole lid just to even the eye out and kind of create a nice little base to work everything else on. Then I'm taking Over C, which is a teal kind of aqua blue color, and I'm putting that just on the eyelid underneath where the socket line would be. And you want to make that as deep as you want. I wanted it to be fairly bright, so I really packed the color on. Then take a nice fluffy brush. I took a Sigma E25 and Resist from that same palette, which is a warm brown. And you just want to place that lightly through the crease just to deepen it up and add some definition but not too much because you don't want it to overpower the blue or the winged liner that we're doing. Then if you want to you can deepen it up. I use Maybelline Turquoise Glass just to add some more color there. I really wanted this blue to pop which the Sigma color just really didn't do enough so I added some Maybelline on top of it. Then I took this fluffy E35 and a shimmery skin tone. I mixed some of my palettes by the balm together to create this nice shimmery color to put underneath my brow bone. Basically you just want to add a little bit of shimmer there so it's not so matte. Because sometimes that can just look a little dry and not fun. Then you're going to take a gel eyeliner and an angled brush and you're going to create a wings line. Now my favorite way to do that is to create a line that extends in the same line that your lower lid takes so it's basically an extension of your lower eyelid and create that line as big as you want that wing to be. So if you want it to be a long wing, take it really far out. If not, don't take it so far out. And then connect it back to your lid. And if you connect it back, I connected mine about halfway down my lid, which made about a medium sized wing. If you want to connect it further in, that will make a bigger one. Further out, it'll make a smaller one. And then continue to make a really thin line across your lid so that it's nice and cohesive all the way across. And that's pretty much it. Then you're going to take a bright springy blush and a fluffy brush and just sweep that over the apples of your cheeks to make a nice, just youthful glow. Then you can go ahead and use your favorite brow product to go ahead and enhance your eyebrow arch just a little bit. You don't want to go too much here, but just enough to kind of add something. And then apply mascara. I'm using Revlon Double Twist Mascara and your favorite nude lip combination. Mine is... Revlon Nude Tude and NYX Sweetheart. And that's it. Hope you guys like it. Let me know if you want a tutorial on just the winged eyeliner.